Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to resolve this issue. So if your computer is continuously crashing and you're unable to launch your CD or try and boot into a CD, um, this tutorial will hopefully resolve the issue for you guys. So basically, we're going to be booting into the automatic repair utility in Windows 10. So if you do a hard power turn off three times in a row, it'll automatically launch this utility. So I'd recommend that you get your computer to that state. So just restart your computer three times, just do a hard power turn off, and it'll begin launching the diagnosing Windows screen, and then eventually you'll get to this page right here. And it says your PC did not start correctly. Press restart to restart your PC, which can sometimes fix the problem. You can also press advanced options to try other options to repair your PC. You want to try the second option here, so click on advanced options. So when you choose an option, you want to left click on troubleshoot in the middle. You also want to click on advanced options again while you're underneath troubleshoot. So I recommend running some of these utilities here. You can run a startup repair to see if there's problems to keep Windows from loading. You could also run a startup settings to see different scenarios in which might be preventing you from starting up your computer. And if you have any system restore points you made, you can select them through here. And finally, you can also roll back to a previous build of Windows 10 by clicking on this button here. If we back out to the previous screen, we can reset this PC by clicking on this button here at the top, which will let you choose to keep or remove your files and then reinstall Windows. So I would try selecting that. And then you have two different options here. You can either keep your files or remove everything. The first option will remove any apps and settings, but will keep your personal files. The second option will remove everything. So I'd recommend trying the first option first. If that does not work for you, try the second option. But before you do either one of those, I would check to see if you have a system restore point already made on your computer and try and restore it back to an earlier time. And we can see that we do not have a restore point. And you can also recover from a system image file if you have one backed up on a DVD or USB device. There are commands that we could run through our command line window through this utility. However, I'm not going to really get into that in this video because it's pretty generic. But if you're experiencing a certain blue screen, I have covered several tutorials in the past where I do go through the command line window and run different commands that should hopefully resolve those individual problems. But this is just a generic tutorial trying to get into the automatic repair utility and just a good first step to take when you're having problems getting into Windows. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.